Welcome to the Acton Boxborough Conquer Carlisle game. Uh, we're here for the opening kickoff right now. Back deep for the Colonials would be Jay Close and a, a new kicker turner, Tim Bassett, will be back deep for Acton. Uh, kicking off for Conquer Carlisle will be number 65, Andy Spooner. It's almost a must-win situation today for Acton. First DCL game, this is a big rivalry between Acton and Concord. And there's the kick. Ball's gonna get by Jay Close into the end zone. Tim Bassett picks it up on his goal line. He doesn't have much room. You get out to about the seven or eight yard line. So Acton will be forced deep into their own end here to start out the game. Patriots. I think we had a freshman and a sophomore back there to receive the, the opening kickoff, and uh, naturally they're a little uh, uh, cautious, and uh, but they picked up the ball and ran with it, and that's a good sign. Jason Brady. It's going to give the ball to Mahaney. He didn't get much. He got up to about the 11 yard line. Um, yeah. Active box, but right now, it's forced with a second and 10 situation. Maybe a yard gained on that play. The clock's reading second and eight now, so a gain of two. I think this is the time when the teams feel each other out and just see what uh, what's working today. Mahaney's the deep back for Acton. Jason Hood the fullback. Gonna get the ball, or Brady's gonna keep it around the right side. Get out to about the 16 yard line. Gonna be short of the first down. It's going to be a third and four for Acton. Ball was spotted on the Acton Boxborough 15 yard line. So it'll be third and four. Brady's going to roll out to his right. Ball's in the air, complete to Josh Nazarian. Out to the 34 yard line of Acton Boxborough. Big pickup on third down. Nice conversion for the Colonials. That's a great sign, Dick, that uh, they can uh, look at that third down and five or longer yardage and uh, feel confident that they can convert. Bring up a first down. Ball spotted at the Acton Boxborough. It'll be first and 10 for Acton on their own 34 yard line. Again, Mahaney and Hood are the backs. Hood's going to get the ball right up the middle. He's met by a slew of Colonial, er, Patriot defenders. Conquer Carlisle brought over a small squad. It doesn't look like they have too many backups over there. Yeah, I know they're uh, not large in number, but they've done well so far this season. They certainly are a worthy opponent at this point. Pick up of about two yards on the carry, bring up a second and eight. Ball spotted at the action box. Two yard gain by Jason Hood. It'll be second eight, second and eight, excuse me, from the 36 yard line. Josh Nazarian's the wing back. Still Mahaney and Hood are the running backs. Brady's gonna keep the ball to his left, pitches to Mahaney. Hammered in the backfield. Loss of about five yards on the play. He had nowhere to go. The Conquer Carlisle defensive end stayed at home patiently. Made a great tackle. It'll be third and 13 for Acton from their own 31. Trey Gullich comes far to the right. Brady gives the ball to Mahaney off to the right side. 
He gained a couple of yards, but the Colonials are going to be forced to play. This will bring up a fourth and about ten. The ball spotted at the Eckham box for our 34-yard line. Tackle made by number 32, Scott Trainer. Again, Jason Brady is going to be the punter for Acton. Patriots put two men back deep to receive the punt. Clint Carlisle gets the ball up to the Acton 45-yard line, but there's a flag down on the play. Mike Johnson, tackle made by number 32, David D'Ambrosio. There's a flag on the play. There's a clipping call, call against the Patriots. Penalty against Conquer Carla. Clipping penalty. The ball will be brought back for the Patriots. 15 <laughs> yard penalty. Begin <laughs> first and 10. So Concord will have a first and 10 from their own 41 yard line. It's still reasonably good f field position, but it is uh, a lot further back than they look like they might be. Concord with three running backs in the backfield. Going to give it to number 22. Ball carried by number 20. Kaiser. Nature. Big Nature. running back. <laughs> Six feet, 215. Three yards on the carry. Bring up a second and seven. Ball spotted at the Concord Carlisle 43-yard line. Nakia Kieser is the name of the running back that just handled the ball. The quarterback for Concord is number one, Nate Glowacki. He's back to pass. Nice defense by Acton, number 15, Andy Butler, with a big play. Ryan Messina was applying pressure for Acton on the quarterback. This will bring up third and seven. Up front for Acton, you have in the pit, Armando Ramos, Rico Hernandez, who just replaced Jason Hood at Nose Guard, and Ryan Messina. Chris O'Brien and Chris Mahaney are the pluggers. The linebackers are Chris Price and Sam Martin. He's going to pass it again. Throws it way up in the air. He's got a man downfield. Back for Acton, number 40, Michael Dean, with a nice defensive play to break up that pass. Quarterback kind of threw that up there for anybody. Boy, and he threw it a long way. He threw it from his own 35 down to the uh, uh, down to the Colonial 20. He uh, he really heaved that one, and it was like a hail mary. In fact, it uh, came down in the right spot, uh, but there were defenders there as well. <laughs> so Concord's faced with a fourth and long, and they're going to punt. Jason Brady's back deep for Acton. Chris O'Brien, a couple yards in front of him. Pretty nice kick. And Concord downs the ball at the Acton 21 yard line. So Acton is average field position. Nothing bad here to start a new drive. The offensive line for Acton will be Sam Martin. Ryan Messina, Ken Canfield, Seth Jacoby, and Paul Sweeney in a tackle. Acton's without the services of Adam Kenny today. He's still out with a sprained ankle. Um, the Colonials have just called a timeout, and we will be right back. Okay, it'll be first and 10 for Acton at their own 21 yard line. Jay Close is now the tailback behind Jason Hood. 
Brady's going to keep the ball. He's looking to pass for Josh Nazir. And what a catch at the 49-yard line. He goes out of bounds and conquer Carlisle territory. But what a catch by Josh Nazarian. Dick, he was surrounded by defenders, and uh, the ball was exactly in his arms. It was a perfect throw by Jason, and that's a heck of a throw. I don't see, what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 yards uh, in the air. He did a nice job with that ball. It's good to see Acton getting some nice big plays. They really didn't get many nice, long, exciting plays in the last game, so hopefully they'll be able to continue doing this throughout the game today. It'll be first and 10 for Acton at the Conquer Carlisle 49-yard line. Brady gives the ball to Mahaney. Nice five-yard gain. Mahaney ran that ball like he was a college fullback. He just bored his way through the opening. So it'll be second and five for Acton at the Conquer Carlisle 44-yard line. Uh, looked like a little mix up, mix up in the backfield there. Jason Brady's knocked out of bounds. A loss of about a yard. Back to the 45 yard line. It looked like a botched handoff there. Miscommunication between the fullback and the quarterback. It also looked like uh, maybe Jason Hood uh, slipped and wasn't able to full call, carry forward there. So it's third and six now from the 45, 46 yard line of Conquer Carlisle. Brady pass. Ball was intended for Josh Nazarian. It hit, hit his fingertips. He was knocked out of. Josh Nazarian it hit, hit his fingertips. He was knocked out of bounds. So. Bring up a fourth and six. Tad Lanigan on the tackle for the Conquer Carlisle Patriots. Looks like Acton's going to punt it away here. Brady will kick to number one, Nate Glowacki, the quarterback for Conquer Carlisle, back deep to receive the punt. He's on his own 10 yard line. Brady kicks it way over to the right side of the field. It takes an Acton bounce. Down by Trey Gullage on about the eight yard line of Conquer Carlisle. So they'll be starting out deep in their own end of the field here. That special teams weren't important at a football game. That's, uh, that puts Conquer Carlisle in a terrific hole. There's some things they just can't do on offense now. They're too close to their own goal line. So we've got a really nice, uh, a nice opportunity here to hold on to them and uh, get the ball back in decent field, ba uh, field position. Uh, Jason Brady is a triple threat, uh, triple threat player. He just proved it. Again, three running backs in for Conquer Carlisle. Somebody jumped. Acton Boxborough is offsides here. First and five. So it'll be first and five for the Col uh, Carlisle Patriots here. Gloacki gives to his big tailback. Nick Akeezer. You get out to about the 14-yard line. He's a big running back. Craig Gothy on the tackle for Acton Boxborough. A gain of a yard. So it'll be second and th a long three, second and four. Again, Kieser gets the ball, this time off to the right side. Sam Martin's there on the tackle along with Jason Brady. First down for the Patriots. So they'll have the ball at their own 20-yard line now. 
Dick, I think the Patriots watched the film of last week's Arlington game. They're coming at the uh, off tackle and at the like uh, Arlington did last week with real force. High formation now for the Patriots. Keezer again gets the ball. Sam Martin stepped right up and leveled him. Big tackle by Sam Martin. Keezer's getting up slowly. Chris Price was also in on that tackle. A gain of a yard on the play, and then that was a gracious spot by the referee. It'll be second and nine for the Patriots. Oh! Number 78 for active, Paul Sweeney. With a great tackle in the backfield of number 44 for Concord, Chris Harkins. I'm not sure if I'd like to run into Paul Sweeney quite in such uh, an open position. Paul was all set to really smack him when he came up. A loss of four yards on the play, so it'll be third and 13 for Concord at their own 16 yard line. Glowacki's back to pass. He's throwing it deep again. Almost picked off by Acton by number 40, Michael Dean. Trey Gullage was also back there. So Concord's going to be forced to punt. Acton should be able to get some decent field position out of this. Barring any type of turnover. Brady again back deep for the Colonials. Just gets the punt off and it's a short one. It takes an Acton Boxborough bounce. Acton's gonna get the ball at the Concord 28 yard line so they got great field position. Uh, we will be right back. Brady from his own 20, or from the Concord Carlisle 28 yard line. Josh Nazarian's in motion as a wing back. Brady's gonna keep the ball around the left side. Oh! Jason Brady on the when Jason Brady runs with the ball, he hits people harder than most people do on defense. Dick, you have to say that uh, that punt that uh, Concord just uh, just uh, performed is uh, a good example of why uh, the kicking game is important and how important it was or how significant it was that Acton was able to put the ball down on their eight-yard line this, uh, prior to their series. Uh, see, now we have the ball uh, in their territory and we're ready to move with it. There's a loss of four in that last play. Besides Jason's nice hits, it'll be second and 14 from the 34-yard line. Brady keeps the, gives the ball to Mahaney around to the right side. Gets back up to the original line of scrimmage. by Chris Mahaney. Scott made by number 32, Scott Trainer. This will bring up a third and 11. Third and 11, the referees from the another from questionable spot. <coughs> so we'll gain a three on that run by Mahaney. Gulledge and Butler go wide to the right. Jay Close is the tailback. Jason Hood is the fullback. Brady gives the ball to Jay Close. Gain of about three yards on the play. And at the end of the first quarter, there is no score between Acton Boxborough and Concord Carlisle. That's the end of the first quarter. Oh, yeah. 
Acton is going to attempt a long field goal here. Brady's back to kick a field goal from the 25-yard line. Snap is good. Kick is up. It's not going to make it. Just missed short by about five yards. But field goal attempt by Jason Brady was short. Chris O'Brien is down on the field, and he's not getting up. Long field goal attempt by the Colonials there. Yeah. Take a break in the action with an injured player. So Concord will have a first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. This time the ball is carried by number 32, Scott Trainer. Co captain. To get out to about the 31 yard line. Gain is five yards on the play. It'll be second and five. From the Concord to Carlisle 31 yard line. Again, Trainer gets the ball. Ball carried by number 32, Scott Trainer. Stopped by Chris Price Ryan was there for Acton, Ryan Messina, Sam Martin, number 81, Luke Zabrowski. A nice game tackle for the Colonials. So it'll be third and three. First down. Number 73, Armando Ramos, got right into the backfield. Tripped up the running back. Number 40, Mike Johnson for the Patriots carried the ball. Concord's forced to punt again. Brady again back deep for Acton. Not much of an offensive showing so far for the Patriots here. Off a high kick, Brady calls a fair catch at his own 44-yard line. So again, Acton's going to have some good field position here to start a good long drive. between Acton and Concord is as intense as any rivalry. Brady gives the ball to Jason Hood. Nice gain of about six or seven yards on the play off to the left side. Tackle made by Chris Hawkins. Pick up a Six yards on that play. Six-yard gain makes it a second and four for Acton from the 49-yard line. Brady gives the ball back that time. I believe it was Josh Nazarian. A gain of maybe a yard on the play. It'll be third and two. On the play, tackle made by Chris Hawkins. to bring up a third and three. Ball spotted at the 49-yard line of the Patriots. Hacking's using two tight ends here. Third and short situation. Mahaney gets the ball first down and a couple extra yards. Chris Mahaney is definitely the workhorse running back here. He's really a hard driving runner, Dick, and he uh, puts his head down and makes holes uh, when they're there and when they're not there. He's doing a great job right now. 
So Acton has a first down from the Conca Carlisle 44 yard line. It's a fumbled snap, flags all over the place. It's probably going to be a offsides Paul penalty against the Colonials, but Conquer Carlisle recovered the fumble, so. The referee puts his flag back in the back pocket there. It'll be Concord's ball from their own 44. A tough turnover there. Yeah, it's right the center of the field, too, and uh, actually we were kind of stalled, and so maybe Concord can do something with it. We'll see. Keyser, the lone running back for the Patriots. With two tight ends. He's going to get the pitch over to the right side. Big tackling. Ramos was there originally, backed up by Sam Martin, Chris Price, and Jason Brady. There's a loss on the play. A loss of about two yards on the play. It'll be second and 12. Second and 13, they say. Guwaki's back to pass again. He throws up a big rainbow. It's anybody's ball. Is out of bounds. He just throws that ball straight up in the air and lets his receiver run right under it. It is an unusual stroke, and uh, he throws it very well, but it goes uh, it goes high. And that's unusual. And, uh, So it'll be third and long, third and 13 to be exact for Concord. Again, Golacki's back to pass. It's going to be a screen. Armando Ramos hustled back over here to make the tackle. Armando Ramos. <laughs> A nice game for Concord, but not nearly enough for a first down, so again, they're going to be forced to punt. <coughs> Brady and Chris O'Brien go back again. Number 11, Sam Gardell is the kicker for the Patriots. He's getting a workout today. It's a nice kick. Brady calls it the 30-yard line. Ball will be spotted on the nice spiral kick. So it's Acton's turn now from their own 31 yard line. Brady gives the ball to Jason Hood. Ball carried by Jason Hood. Keeps moving those legs, picked up a couple extra yards. Gained about five yards on the play. He made those six. yards too, Dick. He, he really made them all by himself and Kenny Canfield uh, uh, also did some nice blocking there. Bring up a second and four. Second and four for the Colonials. Greg Hayes gets the ball. Ooh. Runs right into Keezer, ran right over him. It's a penalty flag down. Looks like it could be going against the Colonials. It's a holding call against Acton. Nullifies a decent run by Greg Hayes. Which looked like it would have got the first down. The thing the Colonials are trying to do now, Dick, is trying to develop a little bit of offensive consistency. They can do the big 
and they've had some success, but they haven't had consistent drives. And I guess that's probably what they're uh, thinking about right now, is trying to move the ball along uh, and keep it moving down the field. He stays in the backfield with Jason Hood. Jay closes the wing back, two tight ends. Close gets the ball on a Jay wing back trap ball. play. By number 52. A gain of about a yard. We have a Concord Carlisle player injured and we will be right back. After Close's run, Acton's faced with a third and seven from their own 33 yard line. Mahaney's the tailback, Jason Hood is the fullback. You have Gulledge and Butler wide to the left. Brady's gonna pass it. He's looking for Trey Gulledge. Ooh, overthrew him. So Acton's gonna have to punt. Number 36 on the coverage. McQuay. Brady will again do the kicking chores for Acton. Back deep for the Colonials, number one, the quarterback, Nate Glowacki, and number 40, Mike Johnson. Ooh, a high snap. Brady's got, picks up the ball. He's gonna try to pass it. First down for Acton. Go figure that. There's a penalty for down. Number 89 for the Colonials, Chris or Craig Gothy with a heads up play to get open and well they say number 10 Mike Kinnick was the man that received the pass, but a heads up play, whoever it was. Acton had enough of the first down, but that looks like it's gonna come back. Field for the Colonials as they were the linemen thought they were punting, so they took off to go make a tackle and <laughs> have to kick it again. We had a little excitement going there for a little while. Brady will try it again from his own 15 yard line. Nice kick, taken by Concord at the 40, their own 45. Number 40, Mike Johnson caught it on the run, got it out to the midfield. Patriots will take over on the Acton box for our 49 yard line, first and 10. Concord Carlisle was one and one coming into this game with victory over Weston and a loss to Lexington, division one opponent. Three minutes and 51 seconds left in the second quarter. Keezer gets the ball. Oh, he right through everybody. He is a tough runner. Ball carried by number 22, Keezer. Andy Butler and Andy Michael Butler. Dean finally made the tackle at the Acton 31 yard Michael line. First and 10, Carpet Carlisle. He is a big back. Ball is spotted on the colonial 32 yard line. A nice run. He broke through everybody there. So it'll be first and 10 for Concord at the Acton 32 yard line. Again, Kieser gets the ball this time to the other side. Chris Mahaney tripped him up. I think Armando Ramos actually made that tackle, Dick, and he grabbed him by the, by the ankles. And that's probably the only way you're gonna take this guy down uh, is get him low and hold on to him. And Armando did just that. Concord Carlisle calls a timeout. With three minutes and 13 seconds left in the second quarter. 
It'll be second and eight for the Patriots from the Acton 31 yard line. Nice game tackle by Acton. Hopkins for Conquer Carlisle Ray on the ball. Chris Price was there for Acton. Jason Brady, Rico Hernandez, and Chris Mahaney all in on the tackle. This will bring up a third and six. So it'll be third and six for the Patriots. Big third down here. Two wide receivers wide to the right. They're going to pitch the ball to Hopkins. Who got a great block from number 32, Scott Trina, the co captain. Concord calls another timeout. And we will be right back. Okay, Concord, it looks like they're going for it on fourth and five here. Kloacki's back to pass. He's pressured, he's gonna run up. He didn't get the first down. Ramos tripped him up. He, he about a yard short of the first down marker, so Acton's gonna get the ball back on their own 24 yard line. Armando Ramos sure does make a lot of tackles. First and 10 for Acton. Brady gives the ball to Mahaney off the right side. Chris Mahaney on the Gain him about six yards. Pick up of uh, five yards. Start by number five. 82, Dave Monahan and Dave Walden. Another injured player down on the field for the Patriots. Officials call a timeout. So we'll take a break with the officials. The injured Patriot was <coughs> Keezer and Luckily for the Patriots, he did get up. He, he looks to be a vital part of their team. He's a fine slashing runner, Dick. Uh, got good size, and uh, he's not afraid to mix it up. So it's second and four for the Colonials after the Mahaney run. using only two down linemen. Jason Hood had the ball. It got loose. Ball carried by Jason Hood. Colonials got it back. Mike Buckley. Number 51, Ken Canfield recovered the ball for Acton. And with a minute and 32 seconds, the Colonials take a timeout. It'll be a third and three situation here for Acton from their own 32. Yeah, it's 32 yard line. Hood and Mahaney still the running backs. Jason Brady gives the ball to Chris Mahaney, who's got the first down, gets out to about the 38 yard line. <coughs> So Acton will have a first and 10 with a minute and 27 seconds left. Clock stop for the chain gain to move, but Acton's gonna have to do something fast here. There's not much time left in the first half. Clock's now running a minute and 20 seconds left. Trey Gullage is wide to the left. Brady pitches the ball to Mahaney around to the right. He's got some room. Oof. 
Chris Mahaney delivering hits of his own there on that run. You get out of bounds to stop the clock, so with a minute and nine seconds, Acton will have another first down from the Conquer Carlisle 45, 46 yard line. Gullage and Butler are split wide to the left. Brady's gonna give the ball to Mahaney. Tripped up in the backfield by number 44, Chris Harkins for Conquer Carlisle. Pick up of a couple yards. Conquer Carlisle, oh, we will take a break. called that time out because Acton surprised them with a no huddle offense there. Kind of a new twist to the Colonial offense. Brady's going to pass it over the middle, underthrown and into Luke, Luke, Luke Zabrowski Mike. looking for an interference call there. He's not going to get one. Mike Johnson on the coverage for the Patriots. So it'll be third and eight for Acton. With 46 seconds left in the half. That's a big third down. You'd like to see the Colonials get a, at least a field goal here before the half's <laughs> over and take some type of lead into the locker room. <laughs> Brady's going to pass. He's got a man. Zabrowski with a first down. Great play. A nice quick hit to the tight end. And Acton has called a timeout with 40 seconds left in the first half. Okay, it'll be a first and 10 for Acton from the Concord 31 yard line. Gullage and Butler go far to the left. Mahaney and Hood are the running backs. Zabrowski the tight end. Brady's going to pass. He gets sacked. Number 44. Chris Harkins on the sack for the Patriots, and that was big. Acton calls another timeout, and we will be right back. Okay, the Patriots came up big there. Acton's got the ball in the Concord 40 yard line with 29 seconds left. It'll be second down and 18 yards to go. Brady's back to pass. It's a screen and middle screen, almost picked off. Pass intended for number 35. Chris Mahaney. Ball is intended for Mahaney, but Concord almost picked that off. The clock has stopped with 23 seconds left, but Acton's got a third and 18. Dick, I thought that play would have really unfolded if that pass had just been a slight bit longer, if Mahaney had been just a bit deeper, because the entire Concord line was in ahead of him, and he was all by himself with about five blockers. Brady's back to pass. He's got Trey Gullage. Ooh. Number 36. 
I won't even try to pronounce his last name, but he made a great play on defense for the Patriots. Broke up what could have been a touchdown for Trey Gulledge. Great thing is, though, they play. knew it was coming, huh? and they really knew the long pass was there, and there were four defenders right around Trey, so it's difficult. So Acton now has a fourth down in 18. 16 seconds left to go in the first half. Brady pitches the ball to Jay Close. He's taken down at the 45 yard line, a loss of four yards on the play. So Acton turns the ball over on downs to the Patriots with 10 seconds left to go in the half. Patriots will take over on down at their own 40 Conker Carlisle runs a play. Paul Sweeney with a by Luke tackle along with Luke Zaborowski, a loss of yards. And that's going to do it in the first half with no score. Uh, kind of a boring first half. Hopefully something better will come about in the second half. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Tom Rocktell from APSAP, and I 